to maintain complete composure before competing inside that ring, almost embracing the calm before the storm. Former kickboxer, able to keep his composure in the most intense situation. That's what makes Aleister Black so dangerous. And a man who went undefeated in one-on-one -on -one competition for an entire year before winning the NXT Championship. The story of his life is tattooed on his body. Aleister Black, discipline, the name of the game for this man. The sole of his foot is tattooed on the body of others. One of the most dangerous strikers in the... Any superstar in WWE history who makes agony look as elegant as Jack Gallagher. Now, some might say that Jack Gallagher actually oh, might remind you of a young William Regal. He's got that lethal headbutt that puts you on the sideline permanently. Very dangerous, dangerous man. Gonna have a long, successful career here in WWE. This match just might set social media on fire. Oh, it's already trending. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Usually making a quiet home in the darkness, Aleister Black only rises to compete. Now the Dutch destroyer might emerge out of the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head off. Suplex. Targeting the back. Very effective. Full 
what impact. Drop down. He's stumbling some now. This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. Man. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Oh, boy. Here we, we go. go. All the glory here. And a kick out. Too soon. Oh, nasty impact. I knew it was only a matter of time. Alistair. Ooh, what impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Alistair Black just changed the momentum of this match. Devastating kick. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Here's a cover. Unbelievable. This single match is over. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. And Alistair Black walks away with a W. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. What amazing action we're seeing here at the Royal Rumble. this kid bright bright future for this young man and from Dudley England weighing in at 175 pounds Tyler Bay at 19 years old he won the first ever WWE United Kingdom Tournament and the Championship. There's no questioning the incredible in-ring ability, though, of Tyler Bate. I mean, he's gained worldwide experience, and he's turned a lot of heads all throughout the WWE Universe. And a very unique style in the ring. Mixture of Japanese strong style, British catch wrestling, with his own very unique gentlemanly flair. Some superstars you just look at, you just feel like they're, they're destined for big things. And you gotta feel that way when you see a guy like Tyler Bate. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. Well, that's what makes this match so intriguing. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe Man. we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Oh, uh, the old European uppercut. What a stomp. Good grief. Look at that. Oof. Up and... Look at this, but I'll break you in half. You gotta believe this one's over. Big elbow. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was just 19 years old. Oh, 
harsh impact. I'll stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading barbs with each other on social media, Bate was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. And since that time, Bate has only gotten better. And it's scary to think of how good this guy is going to be five or ten years from now. Oh, the knees! Did you hear that? He's got the shoulders down. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Still a lot more fight left. Looks like he's starting to falter. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser oh, man, man would have given up and walked away by now. Well, he certainly looked He goes for the cover. And that was only a one. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boom! <laughs> Exploder suplex. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Going for broke. When this guy's on, shh, look out. Alistair Black setting it up. Ooh. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And now one more time. Beautiful technique. Here's his moment, Michael. He knows he's in trouble. Lands this, and he is done. Nailed it. What a stop. Good grief. Beautiful Tope Atomico. Nicely done. He's going for the pin. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys. You almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was just 19 years old. Oh, what a brain buster! Oh, nasty. Going all the way up. I'll stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading barbs with each other on social media, Bates was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. Yeah, since that time, Bates has only gotten better. And it's scary to think of how good this guy is going to be five or ten years from now. Hooked him up. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. To the outside now. Perhaps looking to gather his thoughts. Black with the W. What a victory. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he, he first stepped into a WWE Alistair. ring when he was just 19 years old. And what a great win here for Alistair Black. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. The Bruiser Wait. And from
from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British strong style, but he's now moved up on his own and become one of the great young up-and-coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. As intense and as dangerous as they come. Pete Dunne enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunne, but he will demand that you... These competitors are squaring off looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct. Here he goes. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. This might be it. Oh, my. Cut. That'll cost some teeth. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. But well, we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Gotta like this strategy, just wearing him down. Waiting for that perfect time to slap on the submission hold. Big slam. You gotta believe this one's over. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Controlling the arm. Oh, and a knee strike. Ooh. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. This could be it. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Wow, Aleister Black able to avoid damage there. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some superstars have more than one submission at their disposal and it becomes a pick-your-poison scenario for their opponent. It also depends on the match. Some submission matches are based on winning via a submission move, and others involve a competitor having to use the specific submission they've chosen. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. This just ain't going to do it. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. The one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. 
If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her women's crown. Dragon Flair! Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya Sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by Nick. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Alistair Black may have it. I see every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete... Whoa! He gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to... Oh, man, that hurt. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunn oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. Oh, what a forearm! That was dirty. Uh-oh. Vertical suplex. Nice. He's looking at it. Is he done? Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Hooked up. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. That has got to be it. Oh, man. Dunn is in trouble now. Aleister Black setting it up. Pete Dunn is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're a, whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, the incredible impact. Bringing back up Pete Dunne's pension for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While well, most of Dunne's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition, Aleister Black setting it up. Is he done? In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Holy me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. They can't walk after that attack to the back. Alistair Black may have it. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I quit match by using the submission maneuver. For superstars who aren't proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win. Alistair, strong oh, kick. My goodness. Corey, check this out. Yeah, that was amazing. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania. He might have it. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh boy, he is rolling.
Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Allen. Boom, what impact! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Alistair Black may have it. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Oh! Oh, nasty impact. I think we know what this is. Is he done? In a submission match, the name of the game is to make... He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. And what a great win here for Alistair Black. The Dutch Destroyer can return to the darkness knowing he's made a clear statement tonight. Received loud and clear. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. entire return to NXT and WWE Ouch. with a newfound passion we'll see on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Drew McIntyre looking oh, to wow. squeeze his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Oh, continuing to punish them. Close call, oh, what a oh. knee. Drop down. What a slam. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Got the head scissors up oh, him. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. Just Drew McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I wouldn't call for the oh, medics man. just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This might be it! 
Oh, my. The cover. I thought that was it. Not yet. Of course, that's it. The shoulders are down. And McIntyre with a quick kick out. Too early in the match to end it. Guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, let's say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Almas, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. It is very clear that Drew McIntyre is feeling the physicality of this contest. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. There's no way he knows where he is right now. Heck, given the punishment he's taken, he probably doesn't even know his own name. McIntyre made a great comeback to NXT. Now he's going to need another comeback right now. Ooh, what impact. Aleister Black setting it up. Beautiful technique. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Drew McIntyre really needs to counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Whoa, McIntyre able to avoid damage there. McIntyre looking to end this. Oh boy, he is. Ooh, what impact. That should do it. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. If he's nailed it, that's what he was looking for, Michael. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a... There's a pin now. Yes! Takes it! Here is your winner, Aster Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. Folks, that match is why people say the Royal Rumble pay-per-view is a can't-miss event. A true powerhouse in every sense of the word. One of the most powerful superstars ever to grace a WWE ring. And a man whose bark and bite are equally as lethal. One of my greatest calls ever was when The Rock took on British Bulldog on SmackDown. And he rock bottom Bulldog into a tray of dog poop. Michael, why would And I had to scream, dog poop! Ugh. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can oh. show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Matches like this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power.
Drop down. Man, what a slam. Really targeting the back on that one. When it comes to falls count anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. You gotta believe this one's over. The British Bulldog on his heels now. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. What a stomp! Good grief! Speaking of that classic Charlotte-Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd, surrounded by the WWE Universe. Oh, impactful slam! Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a Falls Count Anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Cover here. There's a quick kick out from British Bulldog. Yeah, this early, no chance. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out end outside the streets. Yeah, and on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is, there are no rules. Bulldog not looking himself here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Well, guys, the referee... He's making a statement here with this attack. Exploder suplex! Black with a nice reversal. This, is, this might be it. Oh, my. Can he end it here? Come on, British Bulldog. You can do this. And what a reversal from the British Bulldog. Ooh. Table in the ring. I don't like what we're about to see. German suplex! That one should put the Bulldog down for good. His shoulders are down. 